Hello again, in this video I'm going to show you how to match your file up short codes to your file away directory tree nav, nav tables or manager mode tables. So here we go. When you're matching a file up short code to a directory short code, the important thing is that they have the same initial base and subdirectory. So right now I've only got one base directory and it's called files and I don't have any subs created but I'm gonna go ahead and create it with make directory here. So we're gonna go into files sub and make directory is gonna be enabled. And we're gonna match the drawer okay and I'm gonna write true. Now True means that it's going to match to a directory uh, tree table that does not specify a drawer ID. We'll show you how that all pans out here in just a sec, okay? And uh, when we're matching to a drawer, it automatically uh, hard codes it to fixed location, okay? We're going to do styles, silver bullet and that'll do. Now we're going to create our file away shortcode to match it. Directory files, sortable data table, base directory files, sub, sub. All right. We don't need to make the directory with this one even though it doesn't exist because this one is going to be on top of it and it's going to make it first. So as long as the one that's on top is making it, the next one doesn't have to. We don't need to worry about unique name. That's for matching it to your uh, to your iframes, which you don't necessarily need anymore to have multiple on, on the same page because we have the drawer ID, which I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so let's do some fade times. Let's do some fade ins. Opacity. This allows the CSS to load before it shows it on the page. And we should add that to the file of shortcode as well. We're going to set our mode to manager. And we are going to do some drawer ID. We're not going to set a drawer ID in this one because this one doesn't specify. It just says true. So it's going to match to the generic drawer. With no ID attached, with no ID number attached. Okay, and styles, silver bullet, insert shortcode. Okay, so we have match drawer equals true because we don't have a drawer ID specified in this one. It'll be clear in just a second what I'm talking about. Let me go ahead and add these fade in and fade times to the file of shortcode as well. They apply there. All right, next set. File uploads. This time we're going to do base directory sub. It, it, it doesn't matter. We're going to navigate all over the place. Um, match drawer equals one this time. Fade in. 1500. And... Well, let's do minimalist this time. And then our matching file away. Sortable data table. Config. Sub. Uh, let's give this one a search label. Let's give this one a custom column name of uploader fade in modes manager and draw ID one. On the other short code we did match drawer equals one, so here we're doing draw ID one and they're gonna match. They're gonna be partners, buddies. 
And we're going to have our style be, our theme be minimalist. We don't need to set that because that's the default, but anyway, there you go. Okay, and now let us do one more. This time I'm just going to copy and paste them. Okay. Yeah, let's put a little bit more space between them. So, and this time we're going to do match drawer equals 2 and drawer ID equals 2. Okay? And what we need to do, I'm going to get rid of uploader here. And in this shortcode, we didn't add it, so we're going to add it manually. We're going to do uploader equals name. Now you can do uploader equals name or uploader equals ID. And what that'll do is it'll append either the display name or the user ID of the person who uploaded it to the end of the file name when it uploads. Okay. If you have uploader equals true in your short codes, that's fine. It'll still show the name for legacy. It's backwards compatible. But ID is the new, the new uh, addition to the uploader attribute. All right, let's take a look at our page. And what we're going to have here is a bunch of tables with no files, and we're all in the subdirectory in the in the sub subdirectory. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to create some new subdirectories. I'm going to call this one one. Save. I'm going to call this one two. Save. I'm going to call this one 3, save, okay, and here we go. Let's uh, start uploading. So we're going to add some files to the first one. Well, actually what I want to do is I want to navigate to these subdirectories. So we're in sub 1 on this table. We're going to be in sub 2 on the second table. And we're going to be in sub 3 on the third table. And as you can see, they're all unique. They're not interfering with one another because you have, up here you have drawer 1, drawer, that's the one with no ID specified, and drawer 2. So they're not interfering with one another. Okay. And by matching drawer, we have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload just uh, A's in the first one, so file starting with the letter A, file starting with the letter B in the second one, and file starting with the letter C in the third one, just so we can keep it straight. Okay? And now let's just upload. File up, file up, file up. We're pretty much done here. Okay, they're all up. So now, let's uh, refresh. And as you can see, we've got the two A's in sub one, the two B's in sub two, and the two C's in sub three. So the upload form is matched to whatever drawer this table is in via match drawer and drawer ID. And that's how that works. I hope you can find something useful to do with this new feature.